King James Bible, the first epistle general of Peter, chapter 4. For as much then as Christ hath suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourselves likewise with the same mind. For, for he that suffered in the flesh hath ceased from sin, that he no longer should live the rest of his time in the flesh to the lusts of men, but to the will of God. For the time past in our life may suffice us to have wrought the will of the Gentiles when we walked in lasciviousness, lust, excess of wine, revel revelings, banquetings, and abominable idolatries, wherein they think it strange that ye run not with them that the same excess of riot, speaking evil of you, who shall give account to him that is ready to judge the quick and the dead. For this is the cause was the gospel preached also to them that are dead, that they might be judged according to men in the flesh, but live according to the God in the, to God in the Spirit. But the end of all things which is at hand, be ye therefore sober and watch unto prayer. And above all things have fervent charity among yourselves, for charity shall cover the multitude of sins, who use hospitality one to another without grudging. As every man hath received the gift, even so minister the same one to another, as good stewards of the manifold grace of God. If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. If any man minister, let him do it as of the ability which God giveth, but God, that God in all things may be glorified through Jesus Christ, to whom be praised and dominion of every forever and ever. Amen. Beloved, I think it not strange concerning the fiery trial which is to try you as though some strange thing happened unto you. But rejoice, inasmuch as ye are partakers of Christ's sufferings, that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. If ye be reproached for, for the name of Christ, happy are ye, for the Spirit of, of glory and God resteth upon you. On their part he is evil spoken of, but on your part he is glorified. But let none of you suffer as a murderer, or as a thief, or as an evildoer, or as a busybody in other men's matters. Yet if any man suffer as a Christian, let him be not ashamed, but let him glorify God on his this behalf. For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of God, and if it begin, first begin at us, then what shall the end of them that obey not the gospel of God? And if the righteous scarcely be saved, there where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? Wherefore, let them that suffer according to the will of God commit the keeping of their souls to him in which in well-doing as unto a faithful creator. Chapter 5 The elders which are among you I exhort, who am also an elder and a witness of the sufferings of Christ, and also a partaker of the glory that shall be revealed. Feed the flock of God which is among you, taking the oversight thereof, not by constraint, but willingly, not for filthy lucre, but of a ready mind, neither as being lords over God's heritage, but being in samples of the flock. And when the chief shepherd shall appear, ye shall receive a crown of glory that fadeth not away. Likewise, ye younger, submit yourselves unto the elder. Yea, and all of you be subject unto one another, and be clothed with humility. For God resisteth the proud, and give grace unto the humble. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hands of God, that he may exalt you in due time, casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour, whom resist steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accompanied in your brethren that are in the world. But the God of all grace, who hath called us unto his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after that he has suffered for a while, make you per perfect, establish, strengthen, settle you. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. By Silvanus, a faithful brother unto you, as I suppose, I have written briefly, exhorting and testifying that this is a true grace of God wherein ye stand. The church that is at Babylon, elected together with you, saluteth you, 
and so doth Marcus, my son. Meet ye one another with a kiss of charity. Peace be with you all that are in Christ Jesus. Amen.